Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Tunisian decrease. I have this swatch of Tunisian simple stitches. Uh, if you would like to know how to make this, I have a separate tuto tutorial for that and you can find a link to it in the description. Uh, so to make the decrease, I'm going to I'm going to make a decrease over here. So I'm going to first make three simple stitches. One two three and then I'm going to make a decrease I'm going to find the vertical bars of the next two stitches so this one and this one so these are the vertical bars of the next two stitches and I'm going to pick both of them with my hook yarn over and pull through both so we can see that these two stitches turn into one over here. So that is a decrease and then you can continue making simple stitches all the way till the end. And we make the reverse pass just like just normally um, chain one yarn over pull through two loops all the way so here so if you see there is this decrease that shows up as an inverted V and the number of stitches in this row is one less than this row so if you continue making um, this row uh, this swatch you will have one less stitch throughout you can um, use the decrease to make different patterns combine it with increases and and make beautiful patterns with it i have a couple of patterns of my own and you're welcome to look at those again um they're on my blog uh, i have a link to them in the description as well uh, i'm going to uh, it in this video i'm going to also show you how to decrease a rib stitch so because a rib stitch is a combination of two stitches it um a decrease of one rib stitch is actually a decrease of two rib stitches so I'm going to quickly make a rib stitch swatch and come back and show you how to do that um, I made some rib stitches uh, on top of my previous swatch so here is the complete swatch we had uh, the Tunisian simple stitches and we made this decrease. I made a few rows of rib stitches and I'm going to show you how to decrease a full rib stitch. So we're going to start by making rib stitches. I'll make two rib stitches. Again, a tutorial is available. Uh, I, I have a separate tutorial for making a rib stitch on um, in my channel, which you can um, take a look at if you want to see how to make rib stitches. So I made two rib stitches and I'm going to decrease the next. So I'm going to take these two next, just a regular decrease. So I'm going to do a decrease and then I'm going to make my rib stitches all the way till the end. And I have uneven, I have odd, uh, odd number of stitches, so that's why I have to make a simple stitch in the end and my last stitch and make my reverse pass. Okay. All right, so this is how a decrease looks uh, this is a decrease of one stitch 
this is very similar to what we did over here with the simple stitch now for rib stitches because rib stitch is our combination of two stitches we need to reduce once again to do a full rib stitch decrease so I'm going to make rib stitches until the point that I made the previous decrease so here one two and then I had made this decrease so I'm going to make another decrease using this and the first stitch of the next rib stitch so I'm going to decrease and then because this is a rib stitch a twisted stitch will always fall on a twisted stitch so I'm going to make a twisted stitch here so that completes the previous rib stitch and rib stitch complete complete this row with whatever uh, um, I, I had a rib stitch and another simple stitch so I made those and return pass just the same way so after this we will have reduced two stitches so if you see there's a nice little slant going on here it's away from your crocheting hand so it is slanting away from your crocheting hand and now if I start making rib stitches on top of this I will have I will not have a stray stitch like the previous row I will have um, an e uh, enough stitches to make a, a proper row of rib stitches so if you see I can just so these are my first two rib stitches before the decrease and then I can make a rib stitch here and then another one that was after simple stitch and the last stitch and then the reverse pass so here we go so if you see we've reduced a full rib stitch and if you continue making rib stitches on top of this then you will be able to see your rib stitch pattern grow so that is how you reduce um, Indonesian crochet so this is again here is the simple stitch reduced because those are uh, self-defined stitches by themselves so there's one reduce will reduce uh, from two to one and for a rib stitch you'd have to do it over two rows because a rib stitch is a combination of two stitches by itself so that's about it uh, well if you want to just show you the reverse here this is how it looks at the back it's it's not even visible it's it's fairly clean reduced this makes a good uh, clear pattern at the back as well it's not it's not shabby it's uh, it looks it looks neat so that's about it uh, about decreases there is another uh, way to decrease with the slant going in the other direction towards your crocheting hand so this is going away from your hand that one will come towards your hand so I have a separate video for that and you can check that out if you'd like here is a small swatch to show you how the two different decreases look together so this is the regular decrease which makes a slant away from your crocheting hand and here is the twisted decrease that makes a slant towards your crocheting hand so as you see that both of these so i've made three rows of uh, decreases and twisted decreases and you can see this nice uh, v that formed here you can use these decreases along with the combination of increases to make beautiful patterns if you're interested in one you can check out my vajra scarf 